doing out here? Oh, are you? I'm just looking at our new house. Don't count your chickens too soon. Kevin might not want to move. Oh, Sally will persuade him. And if she can't, I'm sure you can. You can't not come to your own son's funeral. I just don't get it. I really don't have the first idea what's going through your mind right now. We've got to get through it together. It's, it's what couples do, innit? So what are you going to do then? Stop at Audrey's or what? I'll ring you later. I've got a funeral to get ready for. There's no point asking if you're all right, then. Yeah, I can't believe she's doing this to you, not on top of everything else. I don't know if she's even intending coming back from Audrey's, you know, after. I'm not showing your shoes. I'd... What? Nothing. Okay, tea or coffee? Whatever. What are you doing? Estate agents. We need someone to give us a valuation of the two houses. Do we really have to get somebody else involved? I mean, surely we can sort some time between ourselves. We're all mates after all. It's better to have somebody independent decide. Do you know, it'll be nice to have a house that I can think of as properly ours. We not miss the garden? Not really. It's always something needs doing. Anyway, at least at number 13 we'll be able to have a few nice tubs, some hanging baskets. It's enough for me. Well, don't come complaining when the boys fall and bash the legs because you used to play on grass. Ashley, don't be so negative. We are doing this to get ourselves straight. It's a new start, a chance to get away from all the bad memories. And we both want that, don't we? Let me go now. All right, now, tell me. I'm listening, explain it. You should have heard him, Marjorie. It's as if he hates me. Oh. One thing I'm sure of, my darling, he doesn't hate you. I mean, he's upset, and no wonder. No, I think he does. Oh, I don't think you know what's going on in your own mind, my darling, let alone what's going on in Liam's. And what about your baby? You need to say goodbye to him. I've said my goodbyes. I said him at the hospital when I held him in my arms. You'll regret it, love, I promise you. No, if I go, I'll regret it even more, because I'll just end up making things worse with Liam. Claire, come in. Do you still want to do this house? Of course I do, yeah. Uh, come on through. Hey, has, uh, has Ashley changed his mind then or what? He had it changed for him. Oh, how? That mill. <laughs> right. I almost feel sorry for him. <laughs> almost. <laughs> now, I've spoken to an estate agent and they can send someone right to do a valuation today if you want. Of course I want. I mean, this is great. What about Kevin? Kevin wants to move. Oh. He just doesn't know how much yet. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. Hi. Shouldn't you be at school? Well, Kirk's dead upset, so I thought I'd stay and look after him. And you're sweet. But I'm here now, so. Yeah, but. No buts, mister. School's important. Kirk, you'll be fine with me. Now, don't be late. Try it on, don't they? Mm. <laughs> See what I mean? Be back. Yeah. See. Sorry, what are you doing? Um, Kirk's shirt for the funeral. Hi, yeah. oh. I'm rubbish at ironing. I've noticed, which is why I ironed one for you last night. It's on a hanger on the back of your bedroom door. Oh, sir. Should have told you, saved you wasting your time. Mm. Now, Kirky loves shoes. I've not really thought about him. Oh, I'm not surprised. This is so hard for you. Still, I'm here to help now. Despite what you think, Sarah, my life does not revolve around David. No, there 
not a new man in my life. Well, not in the way you think, anyway. Well, who wouldn't want to be in Milan at this time of the year? Look, as soon as David gets out and gets settled, then... Sarah, give Beth a big... What is it? Back a grande from me. Yeah? All right, love. Speak soon. Bye. Uh, this is Ted Page. Patient? Uh, no, he's... Uh... He's my father, actually. Oh, sorry. Well, no wonder I couldn't find him on the patient list. <laughs> Have you finished in the bathroom? Um, yeah. Oh, go on, get ready then. All oh, right, I didn't know you were coming. Why well, wouldn't I be? Well, it's just only family and close friends, not a big deal. I'm oh, Kirky's close friend. He needs me there, don't you? Me rock. She's good at being there for people. Like you. Do you know, I don't understand why Maria didn't come talk to you when she'd lost the baby. Well, she didn't even tell her own husband she was that upset. No, she'd left the husband and she's gone to her bosses. To be honest with you, if it was my best friend, I would be busting her gut to find out what was going on. Well, I don't really like to stick my nose in. No. No, you're right. Even so, but doesn't it bother you that she's gone to this Audrey's instead of coming to you? Perhaps she thinks she'll get a bit more privacy at Audrey's than she would here. Hmm. Hmm. Stay strong. Hiya. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to the loo. The one in the garage is blocked up, so Roger's got to see to it after. You're not going up there in all your muck. So, I've got to go. Kevin, I've got an estate agent coming round this dinner to value the house and I'm not having your oily footmarks and fingerprints everywhere else we might as well just give it away. What estate agent? Claire's been round. Ashley said yes to the swap. <sighs> oh, isn't it fantastic, Kevin? We're going to have a conservatory. We can make that a sitting room for us away from the girls. Uh, well, it's always struck me as being greenhouses bolted onto your kitchen and things. All that glass too hot in summer, too cold in winter. You know, sometimes, Kevin, you are so working class. Yeah, well, I've never claimed to be out different. Do you know, if we're moving across the road, I want you to make a bit more of an effort. Ashley don't make an effort. No. And have you ever asked yourself why they're downsizing? Exactly. Look, go to Roy's and get yourself a tea. Hey? Cos then you can use their toilet. Come on, Kevin. And I think you ought to try drinking wine, cos cans of beer in a conservatory, it's just not right. not coming is she ill or what you tell me because you know just about as much as i do she's sick in the head if you ask me pulling a stunt like this i don't understand it she wouldn't not go yeah you'd think so wouldn't you and you'd be wrong has somebody said something to upset her upset her fish she's the one who didn't tell me that my own son was dead she's the one who's hiding out at Audrey's, and now she's the one who's decided she don't want to go to his funeral well, she must have given you a reason. No, that made any sense. I was saying none of this makes any sense. Well, exactly. Come on, she's not thinking straight. It's understandable with what she's been through. Oh, so we're conveniently forgetting what she's putting Liam through, are we? Now, do you want us to um, tell her anything for you? I thought she loved me. She does. You know she does. I shouldn't need anybody else talking to her, should I? Okay. Hiya, love. Here's a question for you. Should I call him Ted or Dad? Oh, it's that him you're ringing now? Seems daft not to, doesn't it? Oh, I'm the last one to ask, aren't I? <laughs> Would it bother you if I rang him? I mean, him and my mam chatting's one thing, but if we start talking, well, he might want to meet up, make an appearance. Look, girl, I'm the last one to kick off about you wanting to meet up with your own dad. The only thing that ever bothered me about him was the fact that your mother didn't tell us straight off. I'll call him later. 
Somewhere more appropriate than outside the chimney. Hey, have you thought about what you're going to say to me when you do? <laughs> I can't decide what to call him, so what I'm going to say... Who is it? Have you got Liam with you? No. Oh, Maria, come here. What's going on? We've been such a mess. Liam says you're not going to the funeral. Why not? Do you want a drink? I'll put the kettle on. Maria, come and sit down and talk to us. We don't need a drink. Come on. He's in the right state, you know. Have you left him? No, of course I haven't. See him, he hates me. Of course he doesn't. Fizz, you didn't see him yesterday. He had nothing to say to me. And I don't blame him, not after what I've done. Carla was there at your house, you know. You don't want her saying things in his ear. She's a right cow. <sighs> Tell me something I don't know. Why don't you let me and Kirk take you back, eh? I can help you get ready. No, Fizz, I can't go, I really can't. And how's that going to help anybody? I just know that if I go, I'll make things worse. Everybody knows that I've not told him about the baby. Oh. He needs to be able to say goodbye to his son without people looking at me thinking, the nasty, selfish little cow. Hey, no deal think that. They all understand. I don't even understand myself. How can anyone else? Oh. Mrs Webster? That's right. Ellis Cook, estate agents. Oh, come on in. Hiya, yes, Sal. You don't mind us tagging along, do you? Uh, of course not. Because, well, you haven't seen the place properly yourselves yet, have you? Come in. <laughs> it's exciting all this, isn't it, Ash? Yeah. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Should I get started, then? Yeah, please do, and uh, we'll keep out of your way. Would you like a, a drink or a, a sandwich? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I'll begin upstairs. OK. It's a lovely house you've got here, Sal. Ashley's always said how homely it is. Oh, I'm sure you'd like to put your own stamp on things, though. Oh, we won't need to change much. Oh, I bet you'll have Ashley doing a bit of titivating here and there. The rest of the house is like this, you won't have to help. Hey, you won't get away with it that easily. <laughs> Oh, so have you got ideas already? Oh, nothing you wouldn't approve of, I'm sure. Ah, look, Ashley. There's a hatch between the two rooms. Uh, I suppose it won't take much seal it up. Seal it up? Ashley, use your imagination. Puppet shows for boys. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes it's like having three kids. <laughs> ah, puppet shows. Tell Maria Sarah sends a love. I know it's not much at a time like this, but of all people, Sarah knows what she's going through. Oh, I wish she were here, Sarah, to talk to her. Honestly, I've had more emotional upsets these last few days than last my lifetime. Well, I hardly think a phone call from Ted Page is in the same league as Maria losing her baby. I could still do without it, girl. I mean, Bill's been stomping about like a bear with a sore head. Well, if he'd have told him when he first contacted you, he'd have been fine. Oh, I see. So you and he have talked about it, then? I wanted to be sure that it wouldn't upset Bill if I phoned him. What do you mean, upset Bill? You don't mind upsetting me. Well, surely you can understand why I want to talk to him, ma'am. Of course I can, lovey. But, girl, me being in touch with him isn't going to make the slightest difference to my life. But I can't be sure the same's for you. I mean, who knows what's going to come of it? As if my life couldn't do with a bit of changing. <sighs> can I get you both a drink, or is it going to turn nasty like last time? Uh, there's going to be no kicking off today of all days. Yes, please, we'll have two brandies and whatever your marks are having. We'll have the same, thanks. How's Maria doing? I take it you are coming to the funeral. Unless it's a problem. It's not. So I guess you'll find out sooner or later anyway. Maria doesn't want to be there. No? Oh? Exactly, oh. She's leaving it to Liam to bury their son. I hope that answers your question. Not changing your mind, then? Oh. 
Do you know, Mary, I wish I could make you see what a terrible mistake you made. Please don't use that, Audrey. I've just done Fizz and Kirk round. Yes, because they care. We all can see what this awful time you've been having. Yeah, exactly. Everyone can see what an horrible, stupid mess I've made out of everything. Oh, we all make mistakes, darling. It's what happens after that matters. Well, what can I do? My baby's dead. Liam hates me. Besides, there'll be other people there for him. Yes, yes, there will be. But you're the most important one. Oh, Ria, you're such a silly girl. Look, please listen. You can do one or two things, darling. You can stay locked here like you are doing. Or you can go and try and make things right with your husband. How's right. it going? That poor estate agent must feel like he's Brad Pitt, like them two stalking him. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Like I'm paying the price on the fairy case, eh? Mm, bringing out the big guns, is she? Hi, love. Hi. We've, um, we've retained some of the original features, like the sash windows, which everybody loves. They're so elegant. I have made a note of that. So there's no double glazing? You'd expect that these days, if not triple. I want to notice if Sally hadn't told me. Anyway, I like it. It's a bit of character. Much better than a soulless little box. Oh, nice try. You'll pay for it later. I know that. Just thought you'd invite me round for a beer when all this is over. Oh, no chance. We only drink wine on that side of the street. <laughs> I hate wine. Yeah, well, that's why you belong on this side. <laughs> There's cast iron fireplaces in the bedrooms. What? Proper fires with Freddie and Josh, you kidding? They're not to use, Ashley. They're features. Oh, Sally, we are going to love it here. Ah, oh, stop it. You'll make me not want to leave. <laughs> well, you don't have to. Just keep thinking conservatory, Kevin. <laughs> and a nice light chardonnay. We've had the loft well lagged, which is warm as toast in the winter and cool in the summer. That discoloured patch on the ceiling. Oh, we had a, a bit of a leak in the bathroom. <laughs> Kevin's fixed it, but he's not got round to painting over it yet. There you are, Ashley. A little job to start off with. Why don't you get a notepad, make a little list? You get out there with your little notepad and I'll go and check on a wine cellar. <laughs> you can't help but think of all the things that poor little soul will never do. I was going to teach him about animals. I bought a book. It just doesn't seem right. A young woman doing all the right things and then this happened. That has got to be the saddest sight in the world. Mr. Connor, the cur Mrs. Connor, I know that there's nothing I can say here and now which will ease your loss, but I do pray that your love for each other will help you get through these dark days. No, no, this is Carla. She's my sister-in-law. Oh, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. I just assumed. It's all right. It's an easy mistake to make. Even so, I... Your wife... She's here. She's not well enough. No. This must have hit her extremely hard. Are you expecting anyone else? I don't think so. It's just close friends and family. Then perhaps we should get things underway. No, just... Um, just, just a couple of minutes, please, Vicar. That's all right. Hello. Is that Ted? This is Gail, Audrey Potter's daughter. Oh, flaming answer phone. I hate talking to things at all. <sighs> Do you know? I just, I just babble. I hear myself jabbering away and I think, you sound like a right numpter. A bit like now, actually. You yeah, haven't got an appointment, have you? Um. No. Actually, it was you I came to see. All right. So, how are you? Oh, uh, the one question I don't ask in here. I'm fine. Well, I finish in a few minutes if you want to wait. Oh, and now you know it's an answer phone. You can rehearse what you're going to say. 
That's what I do anyway. But then I still babble. Doesn't matter how many times I rehearse, I'll end up doing exactly the same. There's no point waiting much longer, darling. No, I suppose not. Let's get it over with. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Please be seated. We meet in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you. Have you had something to eat? Yeah. It's, uh... I went to see David. See? I never asked him to send me the visit in order. He just did. I just thought you'd like to know. Well, I assumed that he'd been using his phone calls and orders on you. Yeah, well, sorry about that. No need to apologise. Okay. How is he? Mm. Yeah, he's okay. He's got a mate, Graham. Oh, well, that's good. He's in for arson and chucking a pork pie at a next door neighbour. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, he's hardly a murderer or a rapist. I don't think they have murderers and rapists in there. Yeah. Just junior criminals. Some of them might grow up to be murderers and rapists. Well, let's hope they've all learnt from their mistakes and they grow up to be decent young men. Was he asking about things at home? A bit, yeah. He reckoned you're going to be dead mad that he sent me his visiting order. Do I look dead mad? You look a bit cheesed off. Yeah, well, I am a bit. But if he doesn't want to see me, then I'm very glad he wants to see you. And I'm very glad you went to see him. How about you? What about me? 
Are you glad you went to see him? Um, yeah, I suppose. Never been inside a prison before. And it's uh, not a good idea locking loads of men up together. <laughs> they smell pretty bad. God of compassion, you make nothing in vain and love all that you have created. We commend to you Liam and Maria's child, Paul, for whom they poured out such great love, for mm -hmm. whom they cherished so many hopes and dreams. We had longed to welcome him amongst us. Grant us the assurance that he is now encircled in your arms of love and shares the resurrection life of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Before we move to the cemetery for the committal, is there anybody here who would like to say a few words? Do you know, it's funny, isn't it, but that third bedroom seems smaller than I remember it. <laughs> I think you'll find it's exactly the same size as it was yesterday. Oh, I know it's not got smaller, it just seemed smaller. Would you like to see the conservatory? Uh, yes, of course. Great. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, it gets quite warm in the afternoon. It's a lovely place to sit. Shame about next to a shed. The neighbours are very friendly. You can't put a price on good neighbours. A lot of windows. Yeah, that's because it's a conservatory. It's <laughs> a lot of cleaning. No, no, quick wipe and they're done. So, have you seen enough yet? Are you ready to give us your valuations? He hasn't seen the garden yet. It's very nice, but I think I've got a pretty good sense of both houses. I'm ready to give you a market valuation. Ladies, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ninety-eight thousand. Is that what he said? I nearly fainted right there and then on the conservatory floor. That's nearly like four times what we paid for it. What about Ashley's? One twenty-three, which means there's less of a difference between the two houses than we thought. Which means we have to pay them last to get their house. Which sounds good news to me. <laughs> Only us. They're not expecting anyone else. Hey, girls, come in here. We've got something to tell you. Mum, this better not take long. I'm going out of blender tonight. Mum, I've got homework. We're moving house. You are? Really? Where to? Oh, it's a wind-up. No, it's not a wind-up. The wheels are in motion. <laughs> yeah, it could all be done and dusted in a couple of weeks. No way. Mum, you can't buy and sell a house like that. It takes ages. Mm. Well, we've done a house swap. Really? Are we going to be on the telly? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who are we swapping with? Peacocks. So will you go see him again? I thought he would, yeah. That's good. Thank you. No problem. Does that mean you're back together? You know, going out together? <laughs> well, we're not exactly going out, are we? <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> He's going nowhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not exactly the normal girlfriend-boyfriend thing, is it? My mum will go mad if she found out I was visiting him. Hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's early days. Better be off. Okay. Thanks for coming round. And uh, will you give David a message from me? Yeah, sure. Tell him I love him, miss him, and I'd really like to see him. Okay. And if you'd like to come again, that would be really good. Yeah. See how things go, eh? Yeah. See how things go. We have entrusted our brother Paul to God's mercy. 
and we now commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies that they may be conformed to his <laughs> glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> It's not so bad. It's at least 5,000 less than we thought we'd be getting. Yeah, but that's house prices. It's a tricky business. <laughs> Tricky's the right word. You should have sent Sally. Oh, she's happy picking up her own eyes, all sash windows and original features. Yet the minute we come across here, she's telling me our bedrooms are shrinking and there's too much glass in the conservatory. I thought you wanted to do this. There's one that's raving about their house. I know, but she... I'll get it. Hey, can we come in? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, can we go upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms? Yeah, go on. Oh, bags of man, the big <laughs> oh, Not if I get that first. Oh, they're so excited. Yeah, so long as they don't frighten the boys. Oh, no, they're very sensitive. You all right? Yeah, you, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Right, let's not beat about the bush. Are we going to do this or not? Yeah, we are. You sure? This was your dad's house. If you're not happy, mate. Oh, Kevin, come on. Ashley looks pretty keen to me. I think this arrangement suits all of us. We're all winners. So if we're happy with the valuation, then we just swap houses with us paying the difference, which is 25,000. Happy? Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> Easiest deal I've ever done. Me too, mate. Stay as long as you like. Thank you so much, Vicar. Thank you. They've not arranged anything for after, have they? As far as I know. We could pop into the Rovers. Yeah. Looks to me like they'd like to be on their own for a bit. Yeah, I can't have a word. Are you all right, lovely? I think I want to stay here for a bit. Yeah, OK. Uh, we're thinking of heading to the Rovers. Have a drink to baby ball, so you give me a ring and I'll come fetch you when you're ready. I can give her a lift. Yeah, all right. Well, whatever you want, just let me know what you're doing, all right? Thanks, RJ. I've said we're going to the Rovers. Yeah. Best foot forward. Um, I think they want to be on their own, so... Uh, Anyway, we're going to the Rovers, if you want to join us. Yeah, thanks. Maybe later. will be great for some day, though. Yeah, I'm barbecuing. We can have loads of summer parties. <laughs> I can't believe you're not arguing over who has what room. Uh, we sorted it like adults. Yeah, besides, we both get bigger rooms than we did in the old house. Oh, the old house! Looks like you two don't need any persuading this is a good idea. Mm, must be a good vibe in this house, mate. We've got my little green with each other. I think this is the best idea ever. Mm. Mum, I need to go back home and have a shower before I go out. Yeah, and I need to do my homework. Come on, then, I'll get the tea on. Mm. So you're OK with this? If it's what the women want, that's what I want. There's no point in arguing with them. Might catch you in the Rovers later. Yeah? I'll give it a ring. Did you hear that? Oh, the garden will be great for barbecues. All oh, the bedrooms are all enormous. She certainly pulled the wool over that estate agent's eyes good and proper. I thought you wanted to do this. A new house, a new start. I just never realised how devious Sally Webster could be. She knows we need the money, and yet she's wangled us out of at least £5,000. Hey, now, come on. No one gets the better out of estate agents. They know what they're doing. It's a fair price. He 
It was so tiny. Is she off again? I didn't say anything. Chess, you don't have to. I thought she was going to support you. She feels people's pain. She's very sensitive. Oh, well, happens she needs something a bit stronger than tea. Oh, yeah, Chess. <gasps> I'm sorry. I know. No, you don't. I did a terrible thing keeping it from you. We don't need to keep going oh, over it. Liam, please, no excuses. I let you down, I pushed you away. I nearly didn't turn up to my own baby's funeral. I am truly sorry for what I've done. And I totally understand if you never forgive me. Come here. <laughs> Hello. This is going to seem quite strange when you uh, pick this message up, but... Oh. Oh. Hello. Um... It, well, this is, uh, Gail, your daughter, Gail. We should said something now, when we're in the church. What did you want to say? I don't know. Some kind of goodbye or something. Say it now. There's no one here. I'm here. Paul's here. <laughs> Never told him about his uncle Paul. Big Paul and little Paul. like your uncle Paul and I reckon he'll keep an eye on you for us but he always kept an eye on me he liked looking after people especially those who couldn't look after themselves but you better be good for him now right no messing about no causing trouble are you listening to your dad you be a good boy. Hey, hello, girl, love. Now, what can we do for you? I'm sorry, Rita, I don't want to buy anything, but I have just got to tell somebody what I've just done. <clears throat> now, if this is a confession, you better know there is no newsagent client confidentiality. I mean, if you've committed a crime, we shall have to report it to the appropriate authorities. Well, Norris, shut up and go away. This no. is private. No, it's all right. It's not private. Oh, well, if you don't mind, what have you done? I have just spoken to my dad for the first time ever. Like Saturday afternoons, go and watch the footy cheering the blues on. Only until you have your trial, of course, and get drafted into the first team. And me and your mum get to sit with all the other players' mums and dads. You don't have to be a footballer. You can be anything you want. You could be a doctor or a teacher. Because with our genes, you're obviously going to be a very talented young man. Mm. You could even be Prime Minister. Why not, eh? There's only one thing you need to know, son. And that is that nobody, and I mean nobody, is more loved than you. You all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about Maria. I just can't imagine what that girl's been through. Well, no one can. It's like a nightmare. It's called empathy. Princess Diana had it. And I've got it. 
feel what people are going through. It must be like having a superpower. You what? Can you, like, tell out someone's feeling just by looking at them? Oh, well, yeah. A bit. What do you think our Maria's feeling? You don't need superpowers to work out that one. Do you think I should say something? No, maybe she wants to be on her own. Sometimes people need a bit of space. You're so wise. Hey, you could be a psychotherapist. Oh, stop it. What? You could be. You'd be brilliant. Have you any idea how long it'd take to retrain as a psychotherapist? No. I'm not as clever as you. Better looking, though not as bright. So what now? I don't know. Reckon they might still be in the rovers. No, I don't think so. No. Me neither. Do you want me to take you to Audrey's? I want you to take me home. If that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I know things aren't going to be easy for us. I don't expect it to ever be how it was, but if there's a chance that we can get through this, then... then I really want to try. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's get in the car. We can pick up your stuff on the way over. Can I get you another? Oh, I don't think so, thanks. You're more than welcome to join us at the bar if you want to. No, thanks. I'm really fine on my own. We're all thinking about him. Yeah. You were right. She wants to be alone. Well, you should listen to me more. You might learn something. I've told you, you could retrain if you wanted to. It's not that easy. I just don't think you're fulfilling your potential. Look. It's a nice idea, but... But what? Why not take a risk? You could be anything you wanted to be if you wanted it enough. All right. If I was to retrain, that would mean giving up my current job or at least going part-time, which would mean less money, not to mention the fees. Uh... Well, so what? I earn money. Let me support you. You're going to be my sugar daddy, are you? I just think that if, if you gave up your flat and moved in with me, then we could, we could live cheaply and you could retrain to be whatever you wanted to be. You're asking me to move in with you? Mm. Yeah, I suppose I am. Do you think we're ready for that? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah, I do too. Wow. We've just gone from being boyfriends to living together in about 60 seconds. Shall I have a word with Eileen? Well, let's check out all our options first. I mean, if I were to retrain, it would be expensive and it would take a long time. I'm ready for that commitment. Welcome home. If you've been affected by the issues raised in today's Coronation Street, you can call the Sands Helpline on 0207 436 5881 or visit their website, uk-sands.org. Alternatively, visit itv.com slash coronationstreet for more information.